Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a tutorial inspired by Angelina Jolie's Maleficent. Ever since I heard that Angelina was doing this movie and ever since I saw the first trailer, I was in love. The makeup, the visuals, just the everything, the music, Lana Del Rey, just everything in a nutshell just sums up for perfection. So today I thought it was fun to do a tutorial inspired by Angelina's look throughout the movie. This is the first time I'm actually trying this special effects contouring majig here. Of course Angelina wore prosthetics in the movie and I, I don't know a thing about prosthetics nor do I own a prosthetic so this look is totally wearable if you just leave the cheeks and the yellow dot in the crease out um, and then of course while you drama lovers or for Halloween or for like a Disney villain party this whole thing is perfect so yeah without any further ado if you want to know how to get this Maleficent inspired makeup look then please keep on watching so the first thing we're gonna do for Maleficent skin is priming because you want your skin to be flawless you want it to be pointy flawless and just Flawless. So to do that, I'm going to prime using my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in Radiant Yellow. And I'm also going to mix in a little bit of Illamasqua's Hydra Veil. Veal. Veal. I don't know. And then just make your skin feel amazing. Okay, so once that is done, I'm going to do my foundation. I'm going to use my True Match by L'Oreal, and this is N1. And what I recommend is using your normal foundation shade and then really highlight and bring out features with a really light concealer. I, I, it kind of feels better. And then with my MAC 159, I'm just going to buff all that in. So I want to do most of the contouring with powder products, but I am going to give it a little base to work with. So I'm going to take the lightest concealer that I have and kind of map out where I want things to sort of, you know, highlight and bring forward. I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear and I'm going to use that under my eyes. And then really get that triangle going on. And I'm just gonna buff this mess in using my Real Technique sponge. So I went ahead and filled in my brows already because if I would have to include brows in this tutorial, we would be here till tonight. And if you're watching this at night, you will be here till tomorrow morning. And as you can tell, I also already did one eye. This is where we're going for today. So the first thing in order to get that is to prime your eyes. And I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot for that. Okay, then I'm going to take a really light, almost white looking matte eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do with this is pop that onto my lids to really brighten that part up. And definitely want to pack that color on because later on it will really open up the eyes a whole big lot so don't skip this step people and now i'm going to take a color by mac and this is called concrete and i'm actually taking this from the maleficent collection so this is the mac maleficent quad and i'm going to take this color right here and really lightly i'm going to start dusting that in the nooks and crannies of my crease and you really want to build definition and depth in there so go ahead and dust that in then i'm going to wipe that brush off and i'm going to go all the way to the inner part here because angelina has beautifully deep set eyes and i don't now with a more concentrated brush i'm going to take that color again and also take the brown and the brown is called ground brown what i'm going to do is gonna connect it to the bottom by making a c shape a c See it? And then I'm also putting those two shades on my lower lash line. And then with an angled brush, I'm taking those two shades again and I'm going further towards my inner corner. From my Bobbi Brown Rich Chocolate Palette, I'm going to take this color and blend my crease out a little. Just go ahead and diffuse that crease business out. I'm gonna take those two colors again on a really fluffy brush. And then what I'm gonna do is place it on my outer corner and wiggle it onto my lid. And then I'm taking that really light lid color again 
and re-intensifying that. I'm gonna take Butter Cupcake by Sugar Pill and what they did is they placed a dot of yellow right in the middle above her crease. And this is optional but to give it a little bit more shimmer I'm gonna take that gold color from that Maleficent quad. This is called Gold Mine. And then with those two I'm gonna look straight into a mirror and place it in the middle above my crease. And blend this out softly. If you want this look to be a little bit more wearable, skip this step. For the inner corner, I'm going to pop a little bit of What's Up by Benefit. And on top, a little bit of the Balm's Merry Luminizer. So first, a little bit of What's Up. And then going over that with Merry Luminizer. Now this is a little glamorous touch that I'm adding in. This is not what Angelina was wearing. Um... But this is sort of my trick to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Okay, what I'm now going to do is apply some liquid liner to really ground the look and give it that sort of evil look. This is my Catrice liquid liner. This is the matte one and this is called Dating Joe Black. And to give it that evil look, I'm just going to line my eyes and don't add a wing because I really like this, what's going on here. But I am going to add this sort of triangle pointy thing on the inner corners. And that's what you see a lot with like evil characters that they have that pointy inner corner. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do that. Oh my god. Now to really finish off the look, I'm gonna add a little bit of black coal to my waterline. This is the Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner in Raven. And this is my favorite waterline blackness goodness. I love it. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Waterproof 3D Extra Black Mascara by Makeup Studio. And for lashes, I'm gonna take the Miss Adoro number 42s and I cut them in half as I always do with my lashes. And I'm only taking the outer part of the lash and just sticking that to the outer part of my eyes. It's, it's like so not rocket science. It's so not like evil magic. Okay, so once we've got all that, it's time for the cheeks. I'm going to start my contouring off using my Illamesca eyeshadow in Heroin. And firstly, I'm going to determine my shape. So what you want to do is make a slight curve here at your temples to really sort of get that point there. And then from there, follow your natural sort of hollow part. And then here, curve it in again. And then I'm lightly going to buff this out down. Don't go up because that's the part that you want to highlight. And then just with deeper colors, I'm going to deepen that up a bit and give it more detail. And then now with an almost white concealer, I'm starting to highlight. And you really want to get that sort of sharp cheekbone here. So by contrasting that dark color with the light color, you're really bringing it forward and you really make it look as if you have that sort of prosthetic on your face. And of course you want to start blending that highlight out. And what you want to keep in mind is that once you've blended it out, it's less white. So you want to go over it again to really give it that impact again. So as I said, going back with that light concealer and just at the edge, you want to give it some more. And then I'm also with that darker color again, following the edges to really sink everything in. I'm sorry if I'm not as informative as I usually am. But you must know that this is the first time that I'm actually doing sort of this drastic of a contour to myself. So it's kind of nerve wracking for me too. Okay, so I've been working on those cheeks for quite a long time now. So I'm going to let that rest for a bit and go over to lips. And then with lips on, I can kind of see if it all ties in with each other and what needs more and what needs less. So for lips, I'm going to go with my Ruby Woo Lipstick by MAC. This is Ruby Woo. And then for a gloss, I'm going to take the uh, MAC Maleficent Collection Lip Gloss in Anthurium. 
I believe that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna pop that onto my lips. I have no idea why I went for Ruby Woo since I absolutely hate its texture and the way it applies. Alrighty, lip gloss. And that, guys, concludes my Maleficent Angelina Jolie inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed because this was something so new for me. I've never done this type of sort of contouring special effect magic. It's like, oh my god, the whole new world opened up to me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And question of the video is, who is your favorite Disney villain? Mine, Maleficent. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Hey guys, so today's video is all about how I like to apply my eyelashes, my fake eyelashes,